What's up guys, Vulcan here, and tomorrow is the big day for Biomutant. So we're finally going to get to jump into the world and see what four years worth of hard work and delays have led to. So today we're going to start seeing reviews and guides released from creators who were given access ahead of time. So be on the lookout for those if you're curious to see what the game looks like outside of the guided streams and videos that we've seen so far. Now, my own review and guides will be coming after I've actually had a chance to play the game and experience it for myself. Okay, so what are we going to be doing in this video? Well, we're taking a final look at what you can expect from the game, things like if there's a preload, how you can best prepare for the launch, a high overview of what Biomune actually is, and answer any major questions that you might have. So we're going to keep this one punctual, and we're going to start with an overview of the game and then list some questions that are frequently asked around big topics. So the big one, what is Biomutant? You're someone who started seeing this trending on Twitter, your friends are talking about it, you weren't really kind of keeping up with it, so what is it? Well, Biomutant is an open world action RPG that focuses on these like small mammalian creatures who are inhabiting a dying world. This poisonous oil started to seep up from the ground and endanger the tree of life and everyone else. Now, this is also like a wombo combo because not only is the tree dying from the poison, its roots are also being chewed up by these things called world eaters, which are massive boss creatures that we get to fight or we can just let them do their thing and kill the tree. I mean, the choice is ours. We can see what direction that takes us. So do you wanna take the dark path or the light path. So that's a high overview of the game, but let's dig a little bit deeper. So when you first begin the game, you're going to create your character by choosing a breed, mutation, fur color, a fur pattern, and then lastly, your class. Now these starting classes are more of a starting loadout. However, the perks they have are class exclusive. So remember that when you're choosing, you won't be able to get those exact perks anywhere else. There are variants to them, but not the exact copy. So once you've created your character, you're going to be greeted by these little dark and light angel looking things who you're going to see multiple times throughout the game. Now, these little fellas will try to win you over to their side. And depending on what one you choose, that will affect your aura. Now, your first choice will affect your starting point on aura, which is basically your karma system. Now, this aura can be neutral, somewhat light, somewhat dark, and I'm going to assume fully dark or fully light. And all of your actions and dialogue decisions will affect this aura. And depending on how light or dark you are, you can also unlock certain skills or use certain dialogue options. For instance, which is kind of strange, but if you really dig like the Star Wars Emperor's kind of like finger lightning, then you need to go to the light aura. If you want an orbital laser beam, you need to go to the dark aura. So it's kind of interesting how they went different directions with that. But either way, it's important to understand what you want to accomplish with the playthrough and what decisions you need to make to get that thing done. So after that, you're on your own, right? You've chosen your starting aura, you're kind of guided through the tutorial, and then it is a wide open world. But when it comes to the actual gameplay, Biomutant gives players multiple ways to fight enemies and build your character. You can unlock special skills, use range attacks, melee attacks, activate special slow-mo mode called Super Wung Fu. You can chain together combos for big damage. So overall, there should be something in the game for every type of player. And you can also improve your little mutant by finding and crafting new pieces of gear, which in all honesty, this looks like an awesome system. You find these kind of random scrap pieces out in the world and you can combine them together to make killer weapons to use. Like you could take a guitar body as a base, which comes with a certain perk. And then you can add a chainsaw and a femur bone to make this guitar bone saw that deals lightning damage. It's a really unique system and it brings something different to the table from what we've seen lately, which honestly, all of us need a little bit more of something different. So on top of all of that, you can also equip and improve armor pieces to build out your character. I mean, this one's pretty straightforward. You find the armor piece, you equip it, you can upgrade it. It's something to tinker with. I haven't seen a ton of gameplay on the crafting system when it comes to armor versus weapons, or even if there is one, but it's still important to build out your character a certain way and go for certain stats. So that's a little bit of a deeper dive into the game. I'm trying to keep things kind of spoiler free and allow you guys to discover some things for yourself. But now I want to shift into some frequently asked questions that I think some of you might want to know the answer to. So starting with some more general ones, when does the game release? Console release is at 4 p.m. CEST on May 25th. 
PC is at 7 p.m. CEST. Now, the reason for the difference in kind of delay comes down to when each platform's store updates to allow games to become available. So unfortunately, Steam is just later at this point. So we're going to get the game three hours after console. Console folks, you're gonna get it three hours before us, so enjoy. Next up, are there any PS5 or Xbox Series X and S versions of the game? And that answer is no. Only current gen versions are available. This was done because it's been difficult for people to get their hands on next gen consoles. So being able to go for the one that is more prevalent makes the most sense here. Will there be a preload on Steam for PC? Again, no, there is no preload for PC. Consoles were able to preload starting last week. Now you guys might be seeing a trend and yes, this game was developed with console in mind first and PC second. So that is something to keep in mind. Now, in terms of the mercenary pre-order class, here's just some general info for you guys, because this is important, especially if you're considering pre-ordering or if you've already pre-ordered. The mercenary class comes with all digital pre-orders and it comes with any physical super editions like the atomic or the collectors. However, the mercenary class will not come with the physical standard edition. So if you went that direction, you will not receive the class. Now, if you ordered any of these and you wanna purchase the class after launch, you'll also be able to do that. Next up, are there any modding tools in the game or will there be modding tools? And that is a no. They said this was way too big of a task for a 20 man team. And unfortunately this was something they wanted to do, but it had to ultimately be dropped because they just didn't have enough time. Next up, can we adjust or toggle the motion blur? And unfortunately, no. And this is a big one for me because the blur is so intense at times, but they did say they are working on a new toggle for this after launch. So if you're someone who gets motion sick really easily, or you don't like a ton of blur, you may want to wait until that setting is added. I feel like I'm having Outriders flashbacks, but hopefully they get this added soon after launch because I know this was a big thing that a lot of people talked about on some of my preview videos. The next one is another one that I got a lot of my videos. Can we turn off the narrator? And that is a yes. Uh, you can adjust how frequently he talks in and out of combat. If you want him to say certain things, he has multiple options to go through and adjust. That way you don't get so burned out on him super early. Now, in terms of your gameplay questions, okay, so is the HUD customizable? And this was a really cool one. I didn't know about this. Yes, you can actually adjust quite a bit of what is on the HUD in terms of size, the comic book effects like Angry Beaver or Wham Pow, um, your damage numbers, your health bars. There's a lot you can go in there and tinker with to make sure that you get enough information but not feel overloaded. Next, is there a new game plus? Now this was one of my big questions that I put on my last video and that is yes, absolutely. We actually got confirmation on this, which is great. A new game plus will start you at the tree of life. You'll have skipped the tutorial. And from here, you can actually just join any tribe and start the entire story all over again. So this is more of a way to keep all of your existing gear, try a different play style than you did last time, maybe completely switch things up and maybe save the tree if you let it die last time, vice versa. So it allows you to experience the game again. And because the game scales with you, enemies will still be relevant, bosses will still be relevant, and it won't feel like a complete walk in the park. Now next, are there boundaries to the world based on story requirements? And that's a no, which is great. You can explore, do whatever you want. You just need to watch out for the surf, which is like the water and oil, and the areas you don't have enough resistance for. Beyond that, explore all you want. Go out there, have a good time. You don't have to follow the story at all. You can completely just blow past all that and run around and see what this world has to offer. The next one, another big one that I know a lot of people are asking for, is there an aim lock? And that's a no. There is not an aim lock for no lock on for enemies or anything like that. It's all freehand, so, so go ahead and get your target practice going. That way you can uh, hit the ground running when it comes to ranged characters. Is there gonna be a transmog system? No. Now this is one that a lot of people were disappointed in, but they did say you can keep your current gear and upgrade it to a certain extent so you can maintain that look until a certain point where you really just have to give it up and switch to something different. And lastly, it's a pretty easy one. What difficulty modes are available? Easy, medium, and hard. And enemies are going to scale with each difficulty level as well, so you'll always have some relevant enemies to actually fight. Hard enemies will level up and scale up with you, so they'll always be at your current level. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your difficulty. 
All right, folks, that wraps this one up. And right now we are less than a day away from finally getting to play the game. I hope you all enjoy the content that I have planned. And remember, please let me know in the comments what type of playstyle and creature you're making first. It's been really cool seeing what everybody wants to kind of go into. But thank you guys so much for the support. We recently crossed 50,000 subscribers, which is fantastic. I plan on doing something for that. It's just been super busy, so don't worry. So thank you guys so much again for helping push past that big milestone. As always, this is Vulcan, and I will talk to you guys next time.